Hey guys, Brick Queen here with a Lego Dots poly bag to review for you guys. So this is my first Dots set. Um, and I know I just decided to start with a little one, just a, a poly bag, just to kind of see what I thought about it. And I was a little surprised to see uh, the way they did the instructions for this uh, were kind of incomplete. As far as the instructions, they just show you how to build the base cube. And they don't kind of, it's really up to you how you want to design like the side and the top and stuff. Um, it is called the uh, photo cube bunny, but, and they do give you all the pieces to do the bunny face, which is cute. Uh, but they don't actually show you the instructions um, putting the bunny face on. It's just the cube. And then it's up to you how you want it to look. So, you know, I don't know. I just thought it was a little odd. Not a complaint, just a little different. Anyway, it is set number 30557, and it only cost, I think it was $4. Could have been five, but I'm pretty sure it was $4. And, you know, I was able to decorate the whole little cube, got the ears and everything, and still have all of these extra pieces. So, you know, do with them what you will. Maybe you wanna have like a three-eyed bunny. Who knows? Um, there's this little heart piece that it comes with. So you can decorate it with that if you want. And since it's a photo cube, they have kind of, it's kind of, it looks like a bunny tail. I don't know if that was intentional or maybe all the photo cubes have that. Uh, but this piece actually looks kind of strange. But what you do is put a photo in that little uh, indention there. So, I mean, this is just the instructions, but just showing you how it works. Um, you would just kind of set it in there. Now, if you have something thinner, maybe we unfold this a little bit, um, it would probably fit a lot better because it's meant to kind of hold it tight. There you go. You can kind of see how it fits in there and it would hold a photo upright if you just have like a regular photo, not <laughs> instructions, right? Um, so, I mean, I think it's kind of, kind of neat in a way and useful. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, really cool to have something like this. You can, you know, design it yourself and then set it out on your desk with somebody's photo displayed or uh, your dog's photo or whatever. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, I, I feel, <laughs> I feel a little bit torn on dots. I don't really know how I feel about the rest of them. Um, I don't know if I want to get more. I, they're kind of a little different than what I was expecting. The part that I love about dots is all of these extra pieces because I'm thinking like for mocks and stuff, like who knows what these could be used for. Um, especially like you've got these really nice pastel colors, um, some other colors that, you know, just aren't super common uh, all the time, especially the fact that they're a lot of like these little pie shaped pieces. Um, not super common um, to have like a lot of extra of these, you know? I mean, sure, I have some, but not like this many, not until now. So all in all, I would say this is a really awesome poly bag. I would recommend it. I'm still torn if I would recommend all of Dots. Um, I think I might have to check out another one to see what I feel about the whole theme. But just the poly bag by itself, has 109 pieces for only about $4, so really not bad price. Uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the photo cube bunny or photo holder bunny? And uh, <laughs> tell me if you think I should get more dots. And have any of you gotten any of the Lego dot sets? If so, which is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time.